I am Adelayo Adedayo. My name is Zaren Hatte. I started reading the script on the on a train, and when I was just when I was on the train, I just kept like making noises, and people were just looking at me because I was just like, oh my god, it's so great. <laughs> like really like animated <laughs> because it's so it's so fast and it's so vibrant, and it takes you from like one extreme straight to the other and I hope that we can serve that because it's so beautiful like one minute there like you know my character she's so excited and she's just this typical you know girl she's just you know whatever and then all of a sudden she's so vulnerable and then and then straight away again that's gone and she's back to just being whatever and I think that that really reflects um well especially how I felt when I was younger that really reflects what goes on in your mind when you're 15 and you're in school It was during school and I was like, what is this? Why have I, ne why have I never heard of this? This is not in the news. The what is this? And then I, I like Googled about it and meet a couple of my friends who were like speaking about it. And we were like, how comes I've never heard of this? I hear about uh, cutting it and then they say it's a play about FGM. And I'm like, are you serious? Finally, it's finally being spoken about. And I think it's, it's really amazing that Charlene's written this beautiful script, written this honest, amazing script, and that we're finally able to, you know, do something about it, because it needs, change needs to happen. This script is very good at nostalgic references and taking you back to places that are so familiar with you. What Charlene does in the play, which is really puts you in the place of the characters. You can't separate yourself from, from them. You can't say, oh, they're Somalian and they do this thing called female genital, I don't even know, that's nothing to do with me. You can't because of the way Charlene has written, written it. She's made it so nostalgic and so easy to connect with. And I think that that's great because then it makes people go, oh, okay, I don't know what FGM is or it's never gonna happen to me because, you know, I, I'm, I'm not of that culture, but this little girl, is of my culture because she may be a different colour to me, but she's she's British. So this needs to stop. This can't happen. And it, do you know what I mean? It just it just makes you connect. I think. I want it. I want it to stick with people. I don't want it to just be. Oh, that was a great play. It was so sad. And you know, go to a GBK and eat a burger and then go home. I want it to actually stick with people. I want it to stick with them to the point where. Everyone knows about it, you know, and it's all over the news and people are being educated about it in school because it's such a taboo issue, like no one talks about it. Um, so yeah, I just want awareness to be raised. We, um, we're trying to make it as truthful and as honest as, per as possible. So uh, like in instinct, we're trying to, we're trying to like make it, oh, I sound so actory, but <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> like really raw and very honest, so. With that, we're not like, oh, crying and no, <laughs> we're not doing that. I mean, I think it's great that Charlene's written the play like that. It's not just this news thing, it's not just this thing you've heard about now that happens somewhere else or that's not going to happen to you. Now it's something that happens to a, a girl who's in your daughter's, who sits next to your child in secondary school. Mm. That's what it becomes now. Or someone, or now, now it happens to a 15 year old girl who looks exactly like the 15 year old girl you see on the bus at nine o'clock on a Tuesday morning. And I just think that that, that changes everything.